President Biden handed the Republicans a gift better than any they could have imagined in September. An interview for 60 Minutes, he blasted former President Trump for holding top secret documents at a relatively unsecure Mar-a-Lago and asked, how could that possibly happen? Democratic strategists are now privately asking President Biden the same question. How and why did you let this happen? Until Robert Hur, the special counsel appointed by Attorney General Merrick Garland, investigates why and how, we don't know the answer. However, at this point, there is no indication that Joe Biden purposefully speared off with those documents. However, President Biden has been less forthcoming with the press. He had ample opportunity to let the press corps know before we discovered that more were stored at his Delaware garage. On Tuesday, at a press conference in Mexico City, he indicated that such material had only been found at his former office at the Penn Biden's Root Center in Washington, D.C. On Thursday, Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey asked, classified materials next to your Corvette? What were you thinking? What was the White House trying to hide? Democrats are quick to point out that there is a vast difference between former President Trump, who allegedly obstructed and fought to hide hidden documents, and a sitting President Biden, whose lawyers, when they discovered such material, immediately notified the National Archives. However, Democrats, who had been eager to cast Republicans as out of touch and irresponsible, these multiple discoveries of classified materials in Biden's possession are nothing less than a political nightmare. They know that most voter voters don't see a nuanced difference between Biden's and Trump's error because in politics, subtlety and semantics don't buy votes. From the White House, this is Douglas Christian. And do check out my earlier videos on this very same subject.